loves, welcome back. Today is another Primark haul. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to smile as I said that, but it's funny. <laughs> so I have two big bags here of Primark stuff and it's not too bad. I didn't do too bad this time. I, I, I got stuff that I actually needed and a few bits that I actually wanted. Um, I'm saving money elsewhere, okay? So this is, you know, it, I'm not even going to explain myself anymore. There's so many other women with the same issue as me, so let's get started. Let's not chat anymore. Let's just get started. So, yeah, I put a plastic bag in there for some reason. So, um, the first couple of bits I got were just, you know, spare at the moment things. I didn't actually need these bits, but, you know. So, I got these. Um, these are a pack of two Bando uh, bralettes. Now, I've just got lipstick on it. Oh my god, well, it's not lipstick, it's lip gloss, but ah, the white one's just got lippy on it. I don't know why I did this. Um, <laughs> I'm such an idiot. So, I've had these before, but not with the padding and the ones from before. My boobs are very heavy. Um, so a lot of you will understand this when you put on like a top with no support your boobs are just gonna flop but these ones have um, built-in padding in them so it's uh, quite secure but um, oh and it has the uh, clip back like a normal bra so I'm hoping these give a little bit more support it's just that in the summer I can't really wear I, uh, strapless tops is what I'm trying to say oh my god um, I was wearing the wrong size for so many years and then after I had kids I used a bra stop and realised I was a 30G. So I was wearing, what's that, D, E, F, G. I was wearing basically four sizes too small because you've got D, D in between and G, G and F, F. So yeah, I was wearing the wrong size. So I've bought these in a medium. This is a 12 to 14 so I'm hoping these cups are big enough for my my boobies. Um, so much talk on just that. I bought another body. This colour is why I bought this body. Um, I love the fabric as well. It's really soft and silky. And it clings to all the right places, which is nice. I bought this in a 12 to 14 as well. It was £6. There you go, £6. And it literally just for the colour. It's the racer style as well. Am I wearing? Yeah. Not, no, no, I'm not. I was going to say, am I wearing a similar one? No, I'm not. Uh, yeah, so the colour is just gorgeous. It's just summer. It screams summer. And it's got the uh, two buttons. Yeah, like the one I'm wearing. It's got the two buttons on the crutch. £6. Not bad. Um, these were on sale. So I bought another pair of jeans. I actually got rid of three pairs of jeans that just didn't fit. I'm fed up of trying to get back into jeans and keeping them thinking, I'll wear them, I'll wear them if, you know, if I lose a bit of weight. Sod losing weight now. I'm just going to wear what makes me feel comfortable and happy. And I bought these in a 14 only because they didn't have a 12. But um, they were £7 instead of 15 and they're just the vintage uh, mum jeans. I've bought these a couple of months ago, I think. So I bought them full price and I've just bought them up for seven pounds. So yeah, I was really, really happy about that. I might actually wear these today because I'm gonna go shops with my mum. So I might change because at the moment I've got on joggers. Because <laughs> I just took the kids to school. Um, oh, is that bag done? What? No way. It is. It's just a few bits in there. Let me just grab them so I can just move the bag out the way. There we go. There it goes. Okay, so more clothing. Oh, I got a vest dress. Come on, light. Shine bright on me. So it's just the normal strappy vest dress with the V-neck. Um, I bought this just because a lot of my crochet items I can't really wear them on their own so you have to put something underneath so I bought just a plain white vest dress I thought it'd be really nice in the summer as well I can just wear it with a long cardigan or a long blouse or something I don't know these are still there's no price on that oh god 
I think they're still three pounds. I'm not sure anymore. Oh, the receipts in there. I think they used to be around three pounds. I think they're the same. But um, we'll see. Right, I didn't get any clothes in that one, so I'm going to head on to homeware and stuff. So this, um, we needed a new bath mat. The one we've got is an old one from B&M. I've had it for a while now. And I just thought, oh, I want something different colour because I've always bought silver and grey for in there in the main bathroom. So I just went with this sage green Chanel bath mat. It was £5.50 and it's just this lovely soft bobbly one. And it's got the the rubber back as well which is nice but I just thought something nice bit bit different as well and um, at the moment we've got a palm leaf um, shower curtain in there but I thought of changing it up there as well um, but I haven't found one that I liked yet but I did find one to replace that one for now and it's just this white one I've had this before uh, this is the this was two pound fifty this one um, I'll show you the pattern because the bag's really mashed up. So the pattern is the sort of damask fabric. Uh, I don't know if you can see that in the light. Can you see it? Yeah, you can kind of see it. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, it's just like the damask fabric. Um, it's got the f like filigree pattern on it. You probably see it better on the bag, to be honest. Yeah, you can. You see? yeah and it comes with the hooks as well for £2.50 I've just made the bathroom look completely different with just a, a bath mat and a shower curtain so I love that uh, these were also on sale these are the room scent things pouches sachets these were 50p knocked down from a pound and they are the tuberose I think I repeated myself twice there didn't I but I can't I couldn't really smell it in the shop so I smelled one of the candles and I've just noticed my candle looks just like it. Mmm, it is quite nice. Yeah, it's quite nice. And um, speaking of candles, ta-da! So I've I've always been a fan of bell jars since I bought one for Halloween about five years ago, and it had a crow in it, and it was sitting on top of a skull, and I just loved it. Okay, I'd have it out all year round if I could. But um, this became sort of uh, a home trend a good couple of years ago now and um, you know Primark have been a bit slow on the uptake so they had this in and sorry the lady had to open it to see the price so now it's got no no bit on the keeping it together but this is the tuber oh oh it is the same oh my god I'm such a knob so it's the tuberose scent I thought it looked very similar but yeah dumbass this was the candle I smelt. Okay, so yeah, the candle comes in this gorgeous pink jar, and then you've got the bell jar with the actual pattern uh, printed on. So you don't even have to put anything in there afterwards. It just looks really pretty on its own. And um, yeah, I just thought it was lovely. Absolutely lovely. And because, uh, where'd it go? Was that what I got? Okay, yeah, that is it. Okay, no, I'm thinking, I did I pick up the main bell jar, which was £6? I didn't. This one was actually £6 as well. But you can get the bell jar on its own with the silver base, and that was £6, yeah, I'm sure. I must have been dreaming about something else. Um, so, yes, I'm getting a new bed, guys. I'm so excited. I'm getting one of those Ottoman beds that lift up at the base and you can put um, stuff in the bottom, which is handy for me because we have no cupboards in the house. None at all. Um, I've obviously got my wardrobe, but it has my clothes, obviously, and, you know, Christmas stuff. But the kids' room has a cupboard uh, with their clothes in it. But in the actual flat itself, they built. there's no built-in storage. So... I tend to have a lot of stuff folded in places that, you know, makes the house look so messy. So I bought some more vacuum bags. So what I'm going to do when I get the bed, all the towels and the bedding, will, uh, sorry, the bedding will go underneath my bed. So then we'll free up space in the kitchen for actual kitchen things and not bedding. So I bought some more vacuum bags. These are three pounds for two and they're huge dead giant ones so they're really good um yeah 90 by 70 centimeters and the bed looks pretty much like this 
it's from the range and it's got like a uh, crisscross instead but it's still got the diamante buttons so my background won't change too drastically but I bought a fitted sheet as well I wanted the same one as I got do you know the floral one but they didn't have it so I'm really upset but they had this one which is pink and it zigzags and this is in a double because I'm downsizing now because I don't co-sleep anymore with my babies um, and this was 6 50 um, last couple of items I got, and as you just see a handbag fly, fly out of there. Okay. Um, so yeah, I got two little plants. These were a pound each. They did have another one, but I didn't really like the, the plant itself. But they're literally just polystyrene wrapped with, um, burlap and, you know, twine. And they're these gorgeous little things. I just thought they were really cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But I just thought they were cute. Um, the next couple of bits I got were hair items. So I got this gorgeous uh, claw clip set. Lemons and a nice yellow. I just love lemons. They remind me of uh, Sicily in Italy. They remind me of Italy, full stop, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I bought those. They were £3 for two. And I got some hair bands. I just love the colours of these. These were £2. I can make these myself, but you know what? I can't be asked. But these colours are gorgeous. Um, this are meant to be, uh, you can use these for anything really. It says glasses, a bracelet, necklace, or use it for your mask. But look at these colours. And they're in the pride section, guys. Um, these were £3, and I just couldn't resist. How in gorgeous are these so i'm going to put my glass on when i go i'm going to put this on and i'm going to rock it um so the last item i got sorry I just, um was this handbag now it doesn't go with what i'm wearing today because i'm wearing joggers and uh like a body but i couldn't resist this handbag it was eight pounds and it just reminds me of the do you remember the louis vuitton shoulder bags what was it called saddle bags and stuff like that it just reminds me of that and it's very obviously y2k like you know, that's in on trend now so y2k i was already what 16 15 16 in 2000 <laughs> so yeah uh and it comes with a long strap as well i didn't even notice that so yeah little shoulder bag with the butterfly it's very paris hilton if you remember that era you are with me on this one it's very paris hilton um but yeah i couldn't resist this handbag it's just too cute and it's got the silver zip and it's got no inside pockets like zip pockets but it does have the little you know slip pocket there which is nice but yeah that was it i can't wait to put this on it's just so cool oh my god anyway anyway guys that was the end of my primark haul thank you so much for watching and feeding my obsession by giving me views i appreciate you um but yes i will see you in my next video guys please take care of yourselves be kind to one another and um try and stay as positive as you can in this day and age it's, it's hard it's hard but you know i'm all i'm here for you if you ever ever need to chat or you have something to share please you know dm me on instagram or you know leave a comment say you want to chat and i'll happily chat with you but it's good to talk who said that what was his name mm. <laughs> the bt advert oh my god okay i'm showing my age now guys take care of yourselves love to you all bye <laughs> bye